I've officially moved into the new house and I'm in my new room but I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video for now I just want to talk about March and the challenges for this month so this is the calendar for the March challenges I had a lot of fun coming up with these challenges for you guys and yeah I hope you like the look of them the link to the calendar is down below on my Twitter page remember to save the calendar either to your phone or your computer your, you can set it as your desktop background your phone background your home screen lock screen whatever you want to do whatever reminds you of all of the challenges and everything like that and you guys will be quite surprised to hear that I am joining you guys again to I basically need to lose 10 pounds in order to get down to 20% body fat so that all of the hard work I'm putting into toning up actually shows so yeah that's gonna be fun I might talk about that in a video sometime this week but for now let's focus on the challenge for the first week of March so the first challenge for March is called the cold turkey challenge and it lasts from um, Monday to Friday but of course if you're watching this video any other time you can just start the challenge whenever you want to so when I first thought of this challenge I thought I was gonna be super mean and make you guys just completely cut out all of the bad and unhealthy foods any processed foods I was gonna make you guys completely cut it out but then I realized that would be kind of unfair and it wouldn't be nice to set you guys up for failure. I'm not saying you guys don't have willpower or anything like that. I know you guys do. But even I know that I would have a very tough, tough week if I tried to completely cut out all of the unhealthy foods. And I know some of you guys are just starting out with your weight loss or your fitness health sort of journey, so I didn't want to be too harsh because we're all at different stages of our weight loss and some of us may be able to completely cut out all of the bad food and some of us are like, hell no, I cannot do that. And that's completely fine because it's completely up to you. So I rethought it and thought of a better idea for the cold turkey challenge. So basically the challenge is to learn to say no. Just learn to say no to any bad, unhealthy, processed foods that you just know aren't good for you. And a lot of you guys are gonna ask me, what foods should I avoid? What foods are bad for me? And I feel like you should just sort of know. If you look at some sort of food and you look at the wrapper of the food, and it has like a thousand things in it, then you know it's bad for you because there's nothing natural or unprocessed that needs that many ingredients, especially if they have numbers in them and stuff like that. That's when you start to know, you know, maybe I shouldn't be eating this. So it's not necessarily cutting it out, it's learning to say no to them. I know for me there are so many scenarios where I can be faced with wanting to eat so many unhealthy foods but I have to stop myself. First of all, when I go to college, my friends always have bad foods. They always do. One of my friends constantly has cake on her and she always brings in sweets and cakes and all of this bad stuff. And I know next, in this coming week, it's one of our friend's birthdays. So she's gonna bake a cake and I'm either gonna eat it or I'm either gonna learn to say no. Ooh, I have zero time, hold on. Another scenario can be you come home from school you're getting pretty hungry. You're, you're pretty hungry from the hard day of studying and learning and just, you know, having to be a teenager. It can be really exhausting, you know, it can be. And you're faced with cupboards and cupboards of just unhealthy bad foods like crisps and chocolate and so here are some ways you could sort of learn to say no to those bad foods if you write on yourself you will always remember to say no so all i've done is written no on my wrist right there so when i'm going to grab anything if i'm going to grab any food and i'm like oh my god i'm about to go and grab that cake nom, nom, nom. i'll be like oh no i'm gonna grab that cake oh wait no! If you're like me and you get tempted quite a lot when you go out to school, college, university, whatever you go to, then the best way to avoid any unhealthy or bad foods is to pack as much healthy foods as you can. Fill up your bag with healthy foods so that you just 
when you're moving throughout the day and you feel like you want to go and get something bad then you won't need to and another thing is when you're hungry you're more likely to make bad decisions so avoid getting too hungry at the end of the week I'm just gonna ask you guys to tell me a scenario throughout the week where you are challenged challenged to have something unhealthy and bad and I want to know how you guys deal with that situation and that is how I'm gonna ask for who the winner is ask for who the winner is decide who the winner is all of the information is down below about the challenge and all of my links are down below my Instagram my Twitter and everything like that anyway guys I hope you have a lovely week and you get on well with this challenge and yeah I hope you guys had a lovely day as well. I don't know what else to say. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Bye!